hmm, PS5 launch might not be that bad. Yes, right. What's up? All right. have to do is give the video a thumbs up that's right you like the video before you watch it because it's gonna be that fire bro i promise you we're gonna bring that heat all right we have a couple of dope news items for this video but the first one sony fans rejoice it looks like the playstation 5 constraints the fears of not having enough consoles at launch could be a thing of the past according to a new report by Nikkei which is a reputable Asian source they're saying that Sony could now put together assemble P PlayStation consoles every 30 seconds they could crank out a new console and the report is saying it will benefit PlayStation 5 release in 2020 it will benefit the ps5 release in 2020 so i really think sony is going to be gauging supply and demand based on the pre-orders pre-orders of the console and they may make consoles according to the demand now a couple of things come to mind there is a rumor that july playstation 5 pre-orders might go up in july that would give sony ample time to adjust their production um adjust based on consumer demand you got august september and october by october you gotta know so you got three months to pr maybe adjust supply if the console is still scheduled to come out in november so that's a big if but it's good to see that there might not be um as few ps5s at launch as previously thought now remember sony originally said that they were going to produce less ps5s um in 2020 during the first year of the launch than they did for ps4s i think the playstation 4 shipped about 7 million its first year uh, sony was um estimating around 5 million its first year on the market and two things they said uh, i think they said one was uh, the price they um well the report was saying that the price some consumers may be a little bit more cautious with the price especially and number two and it ties in with the price the whole coronavirus the pandemic and how it might impact production but we're starting to get finally some good news on ps5 launch I've been going back and forth if I was going to get the disc list or this one. I might end up still getting a console with a disc uh, in it. I'm super hyped for this PlayStation 5, man. And this is the thing. I think their um, reveal event, their reveal event showing games like Ratchet and & Clank and what that SSD can really do for gaming, it got a lot of gamers hyped, including your boy. And convince me, hey, I need to buy me a PlayStation 5. It's the only place I'm going to be able to play this game. And I think Sony has seen the response um, from that event. I think the event is at already over 25 million uh, views. Um, crazy amount of people have watched it. And I, I think Sony is adjusting their, the demand, the um, amount they're going to be producing based on the demand of the console so things will be interesting at launch either way i think even if they increase the, the um, production uh i think the console is going to sell pretty good i'm telling you man ever since the playstation one sony's consoles have always 
dominated the market. The only time it didn't dominate was during the PlayStation 3 era, and that was more Sony fault than every anything else. But PlayStation 1 so broke records first time a home console sold over 100 million. PlayStation 2 best-selling home console of all time still to this date. PlayStation 3 was their worst-selling console and sold over 80 million units. Bro, that 80 million is a success. And then the PlayStation 4 again, another 100 million selling console. I think it's uh, uh, either close to or already past 100 million already with the PlayStation 4. And so, Sony got two out of me. I got the OG PS4 and I got my <coughs> God of War PlayStation. <laughs> uh, my God of War um, PS4 Pro. I'm laughing because this thing is connected to a charger. I just tweeted out on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays. PlayStation 4 batteries are trash. All right, next news item. Interesting stuff by Unreal Engine. Um, Epic Games, particularly. Epic Games executive is saying PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X games will look like movies. This is the um, exact quote um, from Epic Games Chief Technology Officer Kim, Kim LeBerry um, has says, it has been a lifelong dream of mine that real-time computer graphics and in particular games can be as believable and realistic as a movie. Uh, this caused me to think about that PlayStation reveal event. Many were thinking of the PS5 reveal event that the um, presenters were actually CGI. That's a testament to how far we've gone, where we can't even tell, was that real life or was that CGI? They were real um, life people. I don't know if Sony ever confirmed it. I think they did. But it's crazy how technology, how far technology has come. This, P, um, this Unreal Engine 5 demo running on the PS5 looked insane. So I can't wait, can't wait to see um, the quality of games that will be cranked out this gen and we got some more pretty good last of us 2 news it's not being reported that last of us part 2 has sold more in june than the united kingdom uk's top 10 games combined that's insane this is the thing about playstation consoles they dominate in 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 europe and so in the uk now, Last of Us Part 2 has sold more in June than all of the top 10 other games combined, which is crazy. This has been Sony's best-selling exclusive, even with all the controversy. All the controversy surrounding this game, it translated in great sales. This is currently my game of the year. Love this game from beginning to end. The story, how, man, it was just a dope 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 game and the last news item for this video pretty hype for this one ubisoft that's why the rabbit is here ubisoft they have just revealed a teaser trailer for their upcoming event titled ubisoft forward this is going to be their e3 type event i'm liking i'm liking the digital format that these companies are going to. I think E3 is done, bro. It's a wrap for E3. Um, how PlayStation, Sony did their event, I don't think they're ever going to go back to unstage. I want to see how this Ubisoft event is. It cuts out the fluff and gets right to the games. Ubisoft is one of my favorite third-party developers, so I definitely will be live streaming uh, the Ubisoft Forward event July 12th. Mark your calendars for July 12th, a week from now. Um, 12 Pacific, that is 2. No, no, that's, that's 3. <laughs> 3. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming at the Ubisoft event. Can't wait for that. Should be lit. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game. Bro, we out. Deuces.
you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, Check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.